This entire short film was created by AI using Kling 2.6 Pro, and in this video, I am going to share the step-by-step -step method of creating this kind of amazing film using AI. So, let's dive in. So, what exactly do we need to create a short film like this? A story for the film, a detailed prompt, image and video generators, and sound effects. You can use any platform. However, I will use Artlist because here you will find all the powerful AI image and video generators along with a vast library of stock assets, images, videos, SFX, and other elements under a single subscription. Okay, this is the Artlist AI homepage. You will find the link in the description. After coming to this page, just click here and then create your account. Once you are logged in, you will find all the tools and features. To create the images or videos, we have to select the AI video or AI image tool. Here, you will find all the popular AI image and AI video generator models, including the new Kling 2.6 Pro. However, before creating the video clips, we need the story. I already generated a story using ChatGPT and then generated the detailed prompt for every scene. I generated the story, the storyboard, and then all the prompts. You will find all of this in the description. Okay. As my story and the prompts are ready, I will start generating the video clips. So, I am coming back to the Artlist Video Generator interface. Here you will find two options, Text to Video and Image to Video. I am selecting the Text to Video option. Now select the Video Generator model. You will find a bunch of options here, including Sora 2, VO 3.1, various Kling Video Generator models, and so on. I am selecting the brand new Kling 2.6 Pro. After selecting the video generation model, select the aspect ratio, video duration between 5 and 10 seconds, video resolution, and audio. Yes, the Kling 2.6 Pro model comes with integrated audio. Once all the settings are ready, enter the prompt here in this box. I am entering the very first video generation prompt. After entering the prompt, hit the generate button. As it will take some time to generate the video, I am fast forwarding the video. And here it is, the video is ready. And look at the video. This is a great video. It looks like a high budget Hollywood movie scene. The quality, motion, camera work, sound effects and everything are just top notch. Okay, now in the same method, we will create the second scene. Just enter the second scene prompt and then set all other settings and then hit the generate button. After that, wait for some time. And here it is, the second scene is ready. This one is also a great video. You can notice some slight changes in the character. To fix this issue and make it very consistent, we need to create the images first. So, I am coming to the image generation page. Now, select the image generation model. You will find a bunch of options, like Nanobana Pro, Seedream 4.5, Kling 01, Flux, and many more. Select one you want to use. After that, set all other settings. Once done, we have to enter the prompt. I already generated the character prompt. I am copying Aria's character's prompt and then pasting it into the prompt box. Once done, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is. The character image is ready. And it looks amazing. Now, in the same method, I will create the other character. Enter the prompt and then hit the generate button. And here it is. The creature character is ready. Okay, both of our characters are ready. Now I will generate all the scene images using the image to image generator tool. After coming to the image to image generator interface, select the image generation model. I am selecting the Nano Banana Pro model. Now select the character image from here. You can upload from your device or select from your creations. I am selecting Aria's character image. Next, Enter the first scene image generation prompt and set all other settings. Once everything is set, hit the generate button and then wait for some time. And here it is. The scene image is ready. And looks amazing. It creates a perfect scene with our character. Now, in the same method, we have to create the second scene image. The process is the same. Select the character image, enter the prompt and set all other settings, and then hit the generate button. You will get the image after a few seconds. Now following the same method, create all other images. Use the perfect reference image and detailed prompt. If you find any issues, you can regenerate the images. 
OK, all of the images are ready. Now, it's time to turn them into a video. So, I am returning to the Video Generator tool, and then selecting the Image to Video Generator. Once you are on this page, select the Video Generation model. Today, I will use the Kling 2.6 Pro model. However, you can go with anyone. Next, set all the settings like Video Duration, Resolution, and others. Next, we have to upload or select the image. I am selecting the very first scene image from my creation. Once the image is selected, I will copy the first video generation prompt from ChatGPT and then paste it into the Artlist prompt box. Now, hit the Animate button to generate the video. Now, we have to wait for some time. And here it is. The video is ready. And look at the video clip. This is just amazing. The clip we need. And the BGM is perfect. Okay. Now I am going to generate the second video clip. So I am replacing the image with the second scene image. Once done, I will enter the second scene video generation prompt. According to the prompt, the second scene is 4 seconds long. So I will select 5 seconds from here. Once everything is set, hit the animate button and then wait for some time. And here it is, the second scene is ready. And the result is amazing. So now in the same method, generate all the scene video clips. Take your time, iterate on the prompt if needed, until you get the perfect scene video. Alright, all the video clips are ready, now we have to download all the video clips. Once all the video clips are saved, we have to assemble them with a video editor. You can use any video editor. Once done, add BGM and sound effects to make it perfect. You will find a vast library of BGM and SFX. All of them are royalty free. You can use them commercially. So, you don't have to worry about monetization. Alright, my final video is ready. Let's have a look at it. You shouldn't have opened the back door. So, now you can create this kind of amazing short film using Kling 2.6 Pro and Artlist. So if you want to be an AI filmmaker, try Kling 2.6 on Artlist, the link will be in the description. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Kling 2.6 Pro and Artlist. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating.